What's up guys, before this video begins, I just wanna make a real quick announcement about the call out. The call out event is at Maple Grove Raceway, October 20th, that's a Saturday. Gates open at 11 a.m. If you guys have never been to Maple Grove, it's a phenomenal racetrack, it's an NHRA track. So it's a super nice venue. Mike and I will be there. I'm sure a bunch of other people will be there, some bigger YouTubers. But it should be a cool event. If you guys have ever been to a call out, uh, you know what to expect, but imagine at a bigger, nicer venue. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. Make sure you guys are able to come out and say hi. I'll have all the information in the link below. See you guys there. What's up guys, welcome to the channel. I have a special video today for you here. Not gonna be a lot of talking, a lot of, uh, let's say, driving, some spirited fun driving through some back roads. I'm here with my friend down at his garage. And um, well, let's just stop talking out here. Let me show you inside this. We have 12C here. And some gems. Carrera 4S, GT2 RS, Boxster Spider in Voodoo Blue. You guys have probably seen this car in some of my other videos, but again, it's one of the classier specs. It's, it's weird, I'm not normally like a silver wheel color guy, but the, the orange with the blue, obviously the raw carbon on here is pretty sweet. Uh, just a nice classy spec. Here's the battery charger for the P1 if you've never seen that before, so it plugs in up there, but all the raw carbon, the entire car is carbon fiber. It's on the charger right now, but check that out. And if you look right to the left here, you'll see a matching LT. So look at the interior here. It's tough to kind of see it. Interior there. So you have two matching specs right there. How cool is that? So we're gonna hopefully take this car out and, out and about for a bit here, but let's take a look at the LFA. We'll come back to the Ford GT. Look at this beauty. You do not see LFAs very often. This is actually my first time seeing one in person. I've heard one fly by, couldn't see it. This is a special car. I, I really must say it definitely has a total different presence in person, but look at it. Hopefully it comes through on camera here. That's insane. I mean, for how old this car is, and I say old, that is just, it's nuts. I think Jeremy Clarkson said this is one of his favorite cars. Wow. Maybe even take it out if we're lucky. Um, that would be a special treat. Ford GT, of course. Shelby Mustang back there. Another Mustang. Look at this cool thing. I have no idea what this is, but that's pretty cool. Some older stuff in here. Here you go, Dan Wagner. If you're watching, check this out. That's a gem. Focus RS. Old Porsche here. And the cool part, there's a turntable. So you bring the cars in here, put on the turntable, and just turn and back it up. That's why the garage is in as wide, because you just come in here, turn the car around whichever way, and back it in, which that's pretty cool. So definitely, Definitely some, some cool cars in here. Again, I'm, take the LT out, hopefully take the LFA out. That would be awesome. We're on the inside here. We got a little kind of a bar setup, whatnot, but check this out. We have a full sim gear setup. Now I'm not a big sim guy. I'm not a sim expert, but um, I've been told this is a pretty legit setup. Um, obviously you have the full motion. I've been looking at getting a simulator set up for my house. It's not gonna be anything like this. It's gonna be a stationary setup, probably one monitor, but uh, maybe some phonetic gear set. All the motion and everything really probably makes it super realistic. Hopefully we have some time to get on this a little bit. We're a little short on time today. What do you think of this garage? I mean, it's crazy. Look how cool this is. I mean, obviously the double doors into the garage in here, but you got a little lounge in there here. He's talking about putting a glass wall here to go out into the garage. Uh, but yeah, pretty pretty legit setup.
this is just an LT. P1, I don't even want to know what that road is. Look at the flake in the car here. Obviously the sauce changing colors go over here. Bucket seats, blue leather, some nice touches on this car. Orange 12 o'clock stripe, matches the calipers, fender louvers, just a really nice clean spec. We're in the garage and instead of turning around and backing in we just go on a turntable I'm legitimately like look how ridiculous is that that's awesome all right folks we're taking the LFA out look at that seat mechanism all the controls are right there yep. that's nuts Every, everything in this car is bespoke I feel bad getting in. Like, like the weather is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, this is insane. Yeah. This this is nuts. This seatbelt. This thing is is nuts. Like I've never felt a more comfortable seatbelt though. Like, and it's weird how this, like, I, I can't I can't explain it to you guys. Just I'm 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 rambling on, but this this seatbelt is so you can check all different settings, like like tire pressures. And then the screen moves back and then the screen will also change like we're in normal mode you shift this up here to sport and then you see that the, the tack actually changes so that the nine and the eight is closer to you from if you're in normal then the positions of the numbers change and there's obviously a wet mode too the other thing is if you see the yellow you see the cog in the yellow yeah. if i go to sport it changes so there's actually seven different settings that you can adjust manually to change how the shift speed works on the single clutch manual car. So this car gets a bad rap because of the single clutch manual, but in reality, if you drive it correctly, it lets you sense weight transfer better, like on a real race car, and it, it's phenomenal. So if you lift off the throttle as you shift on the street, it shifts smooth. On the track, if you're going full, you know, full tilt, it bang shifts, but the weight transfer is smooth. Listen to this. The sound of this thing is just hilarious. <laughs> Hilariously awesome. It's a single clutch. That's why you're seeing the uh, the jutting form. It's, it's not it's not violent like my Gallardo was, but it's still it's still manageable. It's, it's cool. It's like a they don't make them like this anymore. They just they don't make them like this at all anymore.
my Gallardo sounded good, this is insane. This is like the Rolls Royce Gallardo that is like super, super fast. Just listen to this. finishes on here you have the door handle look at this mechanism on the door handle here this is cool all your seat adjustments down here just kind of the center console and everything it's the seat backs I mean look at the seats here like I said they, they don't make them like this anymore they lost money on every single one of these cars that they made how long did it take 10 years to make the car they scrapped it after what four years to redo the whole thing to make it out of what carbon fiber when it was aluminum so and see, this is probably one of the more special cars I've ever been in. And we're back home. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was pretty cool to take the LFA out. I've never been in one, like I said, and it was uh, definitely an experience for sure. It reminded me of my old Lamborghini Gallardo with that single clutch, that rawness, but that rawness is super cool. It's, it's quick, it's snappy, it throws you, it's violent. Um, it's just, it's totally different from the LT. But let me know what you guys think. If you had to choose between the LT Spider or the LFA, which one would you choose? The LT is cool because uh, it's it's the same car as the 12C, right? The same car, but it, it's entirely different. It's kind of like if you go from a 12C to a 650, yeah, it's the same car, but 650 has a facelift, but the 12C feels a little cushier than the 650. So they all have their differences, but the, the LT is just like, again, same platform, but entirely different. It's it's super quick wherever you point it it just goes it's it's definitely more of a raw go-kart on the road than the 12c is but um it was just amazing to drive and i'm lucky to have friends that are able to have these cars and let me drive them and check them out um so if you guys like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up make sure you click that red subscribe button make sure you click that bell icon so you're notified of future uploads be sure to follow me on Instagram, at Troy Sowers. I usually post some pictures, some sneak peeks of stuff to come before I post a video on here. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one.